Welcome to tonight's BB10 recap. Last time, Michelle put up Libra and Keisha. Yeah, and Libra, Keisha, Dan, and Rennie are all talking. They're like, April's the one that should be up there because she's the bandwagon jumper. Hell yeah, she's just riding it's everybody's true. coattails. She's disgusting. Mm hmm. So, Michelle and Keisha are in the HOH talking, and Michelle's like, listen. I really want Libra gone, not you. That's right. She's going to do everything in her power to make sure that Libra does not get the POV. Yep. So, we'll see. Hey, let's pick the POV players. All right, we shall. Michelle reaches in the bag and pulls out April. Keisha picked out her buddy Memphis. Libra picked Jerry. And then the host is Ali. Let me just say, he... I don't know what it is about his, like, speech, but it's so annoying to listen to him talk. I think it's his giant pumpkin head. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. Well, April, Ollie, and Jerry are just so happy that Libra is up. They just want to get rid of her. Except that Jerry yeah. has got Dan on the brain. He wants him bad. <laughs> He's horny for Dan's no. head on a platter. So he's convinced that Dan is America's player, and... He thinks he can really shake it up by winning the veto. I don't see him shaking up anything, but... <laughs> anyway. It's time to shake up the house. Dan and Memphis, the little like tricks as they are. Now. They put on some masks, and they get pillows, and they run into the, uh, what was it? like The, the pink room. bed. I thought it was the pink bedroom. Oh, I thought it was the hippie And they start beating Rennie, Keisha, and Libra with pillows <laughs> until they wake up. And Rennie was just like... Ah! It was so funny. It was funny. Okay, so now it's time for the veto. It's called Cry Me a Veto, and they step out into the backyard, and there's like wall wall onions. It smells like dirty pits out there. Ew. So they're going to have 45 minutes to chop as many onions as they can and run them over to the other side of the course where... In a little bucket under yeah, their neck. Where there's two bins. One right. is the mystery bin. And the other one is the POV bin. So they have to decide which one they're more interested in winning. The mystery yes. prize or the POV. Now, unlike the POV, the top two onion whatevers right. onion will win layers. a mystery <laughs> prize. Right. So Memphis was definitely playing for the prize because they didn't give a crap about who won the veto. No. But April... Well, was she like, was playing for it, too. But she was going half and half. Because she's sneaky. And she actually ended up with the exact same weight right. in both bins. That's scary. That is scary. It was so funny. Memphis wiped out. Aww. It, it reminded me so much of the... Um, the, the one with the uh, with butter. Dick and, yeah, with Dick and Zach. And, and uh, Yeah, that was hilarious. Well, the winner of the mystery box is Memphis. The top onion... Right. Finger. April came <laughs> in second. It. So Memphis got first choice uh, between the two envelopes that contain the prizes. Well, he picked the crappy one. Like on Let's Make a Deal, where you like pick the donkey, he picked the onion necklace for 24 hours. Ugh. Which means April won five designer outfits. She was like, this couldn't have happened to a better person. And all the girls are jealous, and I love it. Oh, I just want to take her head and crack it in half like coconut. Mm. I'm not bitter. <laughs> so, Jerry ended up winning the power of veto. And Libra's totally like, ah, oh, stick a fork in me because I'm she dying. Knows. Yeah, this she knows she's going home. So, Jerry, all of a sudden, starts telling this little story about Talk a bull about and wing. cows. and Yeah. Jerry, you are an old bull because you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Okay. Then he starts babbling about, because he's 75 years old now, he starts babbling about how Dan is Judas and how he wants him to suffer and he needs to be tortured and everybody he's must call him Judas. April and Ollie, I want you to call him Judas. <sighs> Every dog has his day and I want Dan to suffer. That's it's for song. Jesse. <laughs> I don't even get it. He didn't even like Jesse. Jesse hated Jerry. <laughs> I know. Most of these people do not like Jerry, if any of them do. Jerry picks his nose far too much, and I'm sure he farts a lot. <laughs> All right, so it's time for the feast. Bring it on. Many are drunk, few are sober. <laughs> so they're like, everyone say something nice about somebody else at the table. Well, 
most of the people had something nice to say. But so, when... Dan oh. was, like, trying to apologize to Jerry and kind of mend some bridges. And... Jerry's, like, all bitter. He's like, I, I have a reply. I treated you like a grandson. And you I don't deserve me. it. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve it, Judas! What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he is, like, insane. I mean, he's mental. Yeah, and then Keisha was trying to... I think it's it sounded more like suck up to April. And Libra yeah. put in this joke, like, oh, you're just sucking up for a designer dress. Yeah. But it was totally a joke. It was a joke. You could tell it was a joke, and everyone else was like... <laughs> uh, yeah. So, later on, Michelle holds a little meeting up in the HOH. Hey, Keisha. Yeah? At dinner, did you hear how Libra was like, oh, she's just sucking up to April because she wants a designer dress. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, she totally wasn't joking either. Do you have any more wine? Well, do you just gotta get that bitch up here right now. I'm gonna go get her. Alright. You do you do it. Yeah, which one? You wanna see me? Yeah. You! What the hell are you talking about saying that I wanted to design a dress from that bitch April? What's going on? I never said that. You wanna go there? I want to go there! What do you mean you want to go there? I told you I want to go there, but before before we go there, I want some wine. Come on, pour me some wine, bitch. You got the wine? It's your room. I never said nothing like that. What the hell? Libra, I totally heard you say it. Like, on Jesse's body, you totally said it at dinner, and you were not joking. I did not say it! I'm getting out of here! Oh man, I am so glad this happened. Now, I won't have to worry about people paying attention to me. So, wow. Michelle follows Libra, and she's like all up on in her face. And she was up on. So I thought she was going to climb on top of her and like lay on top of her. I but... felt bad for Libra because she was right in this situation. It was a joke. Yep. And she... She's what a not... bitch Michelle is yeah. stirring the pot. And those three all ganged up on her. Is this like Big Brother Fight Club or what? Oh, yeah. This is the nastiest season of Big Brother I have ever seen. I thought sticking Hardy's toothbrush in the toilet was bad. Uh-uh. This is bad. Yeah. These people are angry. <laughs> they need therapy. I thought Evil Dick was bad. Oh, yeah. Evil Dick looks like uh, Little Red Riding Hood compared to this crew. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, my God. So then... Keisha, in her drunken state, explains, you know, Michelle finally pulls it out of her that April's the devil. Yeah. She's the one you gotta watch out for. Because she will not take credit for anything that she has done, whereas Libra will. She's a.k.a. sneaky. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's time for the POV ceremony. So, Jerry, pretending to be a sane person, says, let's hear from the uh, nominated people. Okay, I don't give a crap about what you guys got to say. I'm no, going to say what I say I now. So he says, uh, Dan, I'm sorry you're not up here. <laughs> you're you're Judas. You told Jesse you'd give up your religion. Before you lie. Right. And but you know what? <laughs> you'll always be Judas in my house. <laughs> Jerry, did you forget week one? Yeah. I just don't Apparently know. Apparently he did. Where it went. It was just like... He's mental. He's it's old. A game. He can't remember to change his underwear. You think he's gonna remember that he lied? This game has nothing to do with religion, Jerry. <sighs> well, Jerry didn't use the POV. Because he's an old fool. But you know what? What's even worse about what he did is he made another enemy. That's right. If he wasn't already enemy. Ooh, player. Jerry, you shook up the house. We're all Ooh, scared now. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> Till Thursday. Much, Much love. love.